Wait, is that a wild Puma Josh? Oh my gosh, be very quiet. Puma Joshes are known for their high flying attacks. Shh. Oh, oh my god! I think it's Butter! <laughs> oh <my> god. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Good afternoon. Mm. <laughs> I don't know where to put this ginormous hat. It doesn't even fit in our apartment. It's like bigger than our apartment. <laughs> Here in San Antonio, Fiesta is coming up. And Fiesta is pretty much just a huge party. Like the whole city, the whole town just parties for like two weeks. Um, so we can't wait for Fiesta to get here. It's going to be fun. And we'll be able to wear our big hat, our sombreros, and our little maracas, and it'll be fun. I'm a broken, broken man. So, just came from the hospital, and now that I think about it, I feel like all my videos during the day are about me coming from the hospital. Over the weekend, my wrist, my left wrist have has been hurting so I decided to come in, have it take a look at, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. I heard it a couple of months ago, and it's been getting a little bit better, but now it's just been getting progressively worse. So I decided to come in, talk to the doctor, and they were saying things like they may have missed a bone in the previous x-ray, saying that I may have carpal tunnel, so I had to go get x-ray again. Now I'm just going to be waiting back to hear from them. Oh, and I'm not making this a habit, but I didn't see any candy on the way back to the car either. Not to say that I was looking, but if I just so happened to run across a Kit Kat, you know, I'm just saying. Yesterday, Josh and I went to go eat at um, a place called Golden Walk, which is like Chinese food. And I got their sesame chicken. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And it's a lot of food, so this is my leftovers. I love delicious leftovers mmm that's like the best feeling when you know that there's delicious leftovers in the fridge you're like hmm what am I gonna eat oh yeah leftovers from a restaurant that's gonna be so good it's like the best feeling ever just want to put some sunglasses on your cats why won't you let me why won't the cats just let me do it if we had a dog we'd let me put glasses on them huh how about that You're right. You're right. <laughs> if you have a dog, they let you put glasses on him. You're right. <laughs> he looks so smart, Barney. He just looks so smart. <laughs> so funny. Barney, are you happy Josh is home? Uh, I've returned. <laughs> you look cute. Let's see your uniform. I hope you suck it all in. So I won't be wearing this for a while. Oops. How cute you look. Suck it in. Let's see. Drink it off. You want to see guys. some butt? Some see some butt? Some military butt. <laughs> shake that booty. Shake that booty. Mm. <laughs> look at Barney's looking at mm. you. You like that, Barney? <laughs> you better not. That's weird. <laughs> there he goes down. Victory! King! Harukan! <laughs> Well, welcome home. I have returned. Mm. Look at it's raining outside, y'all. It's raining. And people don't know how to drive in the rain. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Wetness coming from the sky. <laughs> what do I do? I know. You were already something else. You know that. What'd you make, Josh? Me a little bit of chicken sandwich. A little bit of chicken. A little bit of bread. Have some kale. Put some cheese on it. Gonna be a sandwich. Marty, piece of my god dang sandwich. You wasn't even thinking about the sandwich. You wanna take a bite? You get a double bite with your over hunger butt. No, I ain't left with no sandwich. That's a good thing, bro. Oh. Oh. So you're gonna sit there and lick your lips. Cause you got a tongue. You got a tongue and four legs. You are something else. You know, no, you are really something else. Are you Barney? Are you something else? You are something else. <laughs> <laughs> you are really something else. Just eat your chicken sandwich. You already. got another no. thing to think of. No, you just eat your chicken sandwich. Uh, uh, 
So you just gonna tell me what to do now? Yes, eat your chicken sandwich. Mm. You gonna tell me what to do because you got boobs, huh? Because I got boobs exactly. Mm. Mm. Oh. And a vagina. Oh. Mm. So you just got. So you just got what I want, huh? That's what you're gonna say. Exactly. So you gonna sit there and throw it in my face? <laughs> You want something else. One of my friends, it was funny, on Instagram she posted a picture of, I don't remember what it was. Oh, it was a picture of like the women's bathroom sign and it said women's restroom. Anyway, she hashtagged it vag power. Huh? <laughs> and I was like, yes, I don't get vag it. power. What do you mean you don't get it? Like vagina power? What is the hell is that so hard to understand? I get that part. Oh. Why are you taking a picture of a women's bathroom sign? I don't know. She was just taking pictures of around the building. I just thought it was really funny. Vag power. Power to the V. What up? You know it's true. I don't know. But what are we talking about? I don't know. But you know it's true. Whatever we're talking about, you know it's true. It's power true. to the V. Power to the V. Power to the V. <laughs> no, there's power to the P. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. No. Power to the V. Power to the V. Badge power. Badge power. <laughs> you think we'll get views because we're singing about badges? The banana casserole? Banana casserole. That's what Josh calls it. Mm. Actually, that's what he called it one night half asleep. I don't even know what he was saying. Like when Josh gets tired, he starts talking nonsense that doesn't even make sense. Like, mm. Just got a call from the doctor's office and saying they have the results for his whatever is wrong with his arm. That was really fast. So let's see what's wrong. It's an X-ray on, on your wrist. Yeah. And it's shown that you have a non-union uh, scaphoid fracture in your wrist. She suspects from your fall in October. Hmm. So she put in a referral to... Oh, was that the first fraction? No, oh, we don't see anything. You'll be fine. Oh my gosh. So since October, you have had a fracture in your wrist and they didn't tell you? And over this time, I've done at least 200 push-ups. <gasps> 300. Countless. No wonder it didn't heal right. I'm like, this... Because they right. told you there was nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. They told him... It's just a bad sprain. Yeah, they're like, it's just a bad sprain. Just take some medicine and it'll go away. Stop. <laughs> why do what? Is that, why are you excited when I come home? I don't know. <laughs> I get excited when Josh gets home and then he comes home and he eats like so loud and I forget why I was excited to see him. Like, oh I'm just my kidding. Gosh, yeah. No, because he's like, this <laughs> is so gross. And then he just, where's that bottle? Where's my tea? Where'd you put it? He tried to. Oh, so gross. What are you talking about? He takes this tea here that we have and he just brought this with him to the table to eat. And he has his food all stored in his cheek like a chipmunk. And he's taking a drink while the food is still in his mouth. That is disgusting. It's not disgusting. It's called. It's disgusting. It's called optimal performance. No, it's called disgusting. Mm. Like, that's so gross. That's how you get backwash in your drink. No, and he's not. taking the whole See? whatever we have left. And he's like, let me put the food to the side and take a drink. Oh! I don't care if that's your own soda or drink or whatever. But when it's the whole thing. Really? First of all, I know <laughs> how to swallow. So, excuse me. No, you me. don't. Yes, no, I you do. don't. You think you do, but food is going to backwash into it. You don't know that. I do know no, that. Don't. Yes, I do. I've done studies. You've done no <laughs> such studies. I have. Instead of getting a cup, so you had to give him my cup. Instead of getting a cup. Because there are no cups that are readily available. That one's readily available. So, you just said you had to give him my cup. Well, there's other cups, Josh. Not like that's the only cup we have. Keywords readily available. Whatever. Anyways, yuck. Yum. Yuck. <laughs> yuck. 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 It's not. Yuck. Does your significant other eat disgusting? Who eats more disgusting, you or your significant other? Better it's question. Josh. Better. I'm talking about my eating habits. Yeah, it's disgusting. No, it's how men eat. No, it's disgusting. Yuck. It's how disgustingness is done. Mm. He's like, no, 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 bring me another. <laughs> That's how you remind me. You're gonna be in for a long life. Well, <laughs> exactly. Learn so to disgusting. eat right. You learn to tolerate. You learn 
to eat the way I like and you won't hear this anymore. I'm sorry that I've been eating this way for 23 years. <laughs> it is going to take me a little bit to change these habits. Well, you won't ever change them if I don't have if I don't correct you. So that's all I'm doing is I'm just correcting you every time. Correct. As yes. if there's something wrong with the way I eat. There is. It's nothing wrong. It's loud and chewy sounding and it's yuck. an appreciation to the food that my wife has made for me. Yes, I get that, but you can say a, a nice thank you would suffice. No, you need to hear me enjoy it. No, I yes. don't. I yes. don't. It's so gross. No, because you don't understand how grossed out I was when he took this. <laughs> he had food on both sides of his cheeks. And he grabs this and he starts chugging this. And this is like straight out of the refrigerator. More of a swig. No, I, no that's even gross. No, that means not. a swig reminds me like swishing it in your mouth. Ugh. Of Ugh, of I'm grossed out. This has to be thrown away now. <laughs> so. No, it ain't. Yes, that's so gross. Nope. Barney, nobody called you over here. Barney, get down. God. <laughs> he thinks like he wants to, he plays it off that he's like getting petted, but he wants food. I know. You ain't seeing. I see you, you Barney. Slick. You're not. We're not dumb. You ain't slick. <laughs> Pizza. Would you like one slice or two? Just one. Okay. Yeah. Pepperoni pizza. Josh felt like ordering a pizza, and I think it's perfect day to order pizza because it's like rainy and dark and dreary and. Oh yeah, you want some of my pepperoni dance? You're, you have a pepperoni dance? I did not know this. Smells good. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> it's Monday, Monday, Monday. Oh, Monday, Darn. yay! But yeah. hold the camera, please. Oh, we know something. What? It's a three-day week, 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 week. <laughs> it's a day, three-day, three-day week, week. Week, Josh, week, pick your shorts week. up. You're showing the whole world your um, tonus. Hey, week, 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 week. It's three day, three day, week. Break it down, break it down. Three, three day. <laughs> Josh, how many days are you working this week? Three day, week, 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 week. I'm working it three days. Three day, week, 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 oh my week. god. Working it three Okay, days. so that is what I call Josh's Will Smith move and he will bust that out at parties when it's like getting down and he's like in the middle of a circle or something and we know it's about to get hype oh, and it crazy. makes me laugh every freaking time because he does the perfect face where there's like no emotion. Do it, do it, do it, do it. This is this is so good to watch. It's a three day week, 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 week. It's a day, three day, three day week. <laughs> I go up and down the club like that, though. I know. <laughs> Where you going? Come here, girl. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. That's how he, he, you know, that's how he picked me up. I was yeah. like, ooh, look at that guy. Mm, looking I was, good. I was talking to my friends. I was like. Yeah, man, you know, I'm about to pick up a hunt. Oh, she's kind of cute. Hey, go, what's your name? Hey, go, come here, girl. Where you going, girl? Come here. What do you want? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, game. my gosh, this is so funny. <laughs> but, yes, it's Monday and not Friday. Oh, we haven't talked about The Walking Dead. Oh. Because we talked about it last week, and this week we need to hear reaction. Let's see. Let's do a reenactment of how you screamed whenever you saw oh. that it was, what's her name, Carol? Maggie. No, Maggie and Glenn, when Glenn saw, this, I kid you not, like, do it how you were, this is how Josh was. I was, I was hanging on there because I was like, he was, maybe her. You were tapping, yes, was he was it. doing that to the sofa. I was, I was, well, you probably get in the front and see it. And he was doing this like weird lip thing that he does when he's like paying attention, he's like nervous, he's like. He does this weird like mouth thing. That's what he was doing. That's because, how he was. Because yeah, so Glenn was firing off, and then he got some help, and he finally. So you know, I was like, it may be. I was like, <laughs> and then you just, you just see Maggie come to the screen. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> they found each other. <laughs> Man. No, she 
found him. Really. That's he, was, he was about to die. He was about to die. Because he was dumb. He was dumb. Dang. He was dumb for going in there. He saved the man again. Exactly. Power to the V. This, this blog, which also starts with a V, is brought to you by the V. And the power to the V. I don't even say anything. <laughs> Why? Tell me. What are you going to say? Nothing. Say it. It was brought to you by your V. Not my V. By the V. Yeah. Power to the V. Who edits these videos? Me. Do I have a V? Yes. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just saying girl power. That's all. I'm just saying. Hashtag power to the V. I'm oh. just saying it's not on the pedestal. It, it, no, it's not. It doesn't <laughs> give you the right to act however the heck you want to because you have one. But having one, you know. You know. <laughs> Anyways. It's true. I don't know how I feel about Terminus, though. No, it's like, not going to be good. There's no way. I don't think it's going to be good. But I just love now how whenever you get a new character in an episode, you always get that, uh, I don't know. Like, uh. Yeah, that's how you felt about those other, the general guys. That's how I felt about like almost everybody. That's, that's how I feel this Terminus thing is going to be like. Yeah. That she's maybe harvesting them or something. I, I like, mean, where was all the people? Like, if it's... She's the only one, yeah. Yeah, so of all these people, they cannot, surely they're not the first to arrive. And surely she did not build the all, whole place by herself. Yeah, she definitely put all those signs up there from miles so, away. So, somehow, somebody, or, like, she's doing something with them. The Walking Dead, uh, yesterday, let us know what was your favorite part. How loud did you scream when they're... Yeah, were you that? jumping up and down and clapping? Because Josh li literally almost peed his pants, I swear. I didn't pee my pants. I said you almost. I was like, the water was from my eyes because I was about to cry. <laughs> was he weird. was like, oh! Or however you do your little, oh! little black guy sound. <laughs> it's funny. So, about the, uh, Bob and Sasha, like... Who's the, Bob and Sasha? The two black people. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like, know. You know, because they're saying, you know, we get determined, it's okay, we're going to see what it's like, but then we're back on, you know, the road to go, go save the world. the world. Yeah. yeah. And they're they're saying, you know, we'll follow them, but they got to see, you know. Yeah. Is that a good idea? Like, would you forsake... Would you go? Would I forsake possible refuge to go on another adventure around the country? Yeah, and possibly not make it. And exactly. they don't even know this guy. Like, how do you know he's telling the truth? What That's if he's what not say. telling the truth? No one has ever asked this guy, hey, what is the cure or what causes? Everyone is like, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, he's got the mullet. Exactly. <laughs> I want to give a shout out. Most of these shout outs are a lot of new friends on YouTube, so they're other YouTubers. My friends. So I will link their channels below. A shout out to Mexican Rupert. Mexican Rupert. The reason we have these maracas in the first place. Yeah, right. uh, so we did a promo for him yesterday, which was really fun. Um, and then Rebecca Lauren Six, she has a channel as well with her fiance. They're going to be getting married. Um, Where's our invite? Yeah, we want a wedding invitation. She lives in Dallas, Texas, so she's not oh, too far from no, us. <laughs> Get it down at the reception, all that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. We're we're expecting an invite, Rebecca. Also, want to give a shout out to Peter from Journey of Life Vlogs. Hi, oh. aka I have nicknamed him Mo Jojo. Mo Jojo. Mo Jojo. Jo. <laughs> we don't know because I like to vlog. I never stop. <laughs> so your name is now Mo Jojo. Jo. Shout out to you and thank you for following on Twitter and commenting and sharing our video. We appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. And the top of the And the sides. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to a new Twitter follower that followed us. Um, Don Row 1101 on Twitter. 1101. 1101. I said that yesterday too, right? 110101. What? I'm speaking binary. I know. 1101101. Ooh, I bet y'all didn't know I knew that. <laughs> One zero one zero zero one one zero one. Anyways, um, thank you, Don, for uh, commenting on our video and for following me on Twitter. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So here's a little rock dance for you. But to all those who you gave a shout out to, welcome. <laughs> thank you for watching today's video. And don't forget to laugh, like, and share. And then subscribe. And subscribe. And we're sitting at about 234 subscribers. We love to hit 250 soon. So if you could just share if you like this video. Please. Please. Don't forget to please place your thumbs in the upright position. <laughs> just recently, Austin Knoll retweeted uh, someone who tweeted them saying that they were their family inspiration. <laughs> kind of like family inspiration. And what an awesome thing to be to someone that maybe these young kids and stuff are, are who not, aren't married yet maybe haven't even had their first boyfriend or girlfriend and they're looking up to people who are setting a good example of what a family should be and that's 